and welcome back to English with Lucy. I've got a pronunciation video for you today and it's all about 10 words that you might be pronouncing incorrectly. So let's get started. Okay, so the first word is this one. How would you say it? It's not fruit. There are not two syllables there. We actually pronounce this word fruit. Fruit. So many students make the mistake of saying fruit or fruit or fruit. <laughs> but no, it's just fruit. And fruit is my favorite food. The next word we have is this one. So many students actually pronounce this how they would pronounce it in their own language. Probably the Italians and the, and the Spanish more than anything. Um, but we pronounce this not chaos, not chaos. <laughs> but chaos. We almost add a y sound, chaos. It was an absolute chaos. The same with the adjective form, it was chaotic. Okay, number three, we have... Now, I remember learning to spell this word when I was at school and thinking, wow, that's a crazy spelling because it's so different to the pronunciation. Now, I've heard all different pronunciations of this word. I've heard kuewe, I've heard qu, but really we just say q, q, one syllable. And everyone knows that British people love queuing, q. To q, there is a q, it's the verb and the noun as well. Now on to number four, and this one always makes me laugh when people say this, because it is really difficult to say. It is this one. Now I hear people say crips, I used to work in a cafe with a lot of foreign workers and they would always say, where are the crips? And I'd be like, crips? Are you talking about crips? We say crisps. This sps sound is very difficult for some people to say, so you need to practice this in the mirror before you brush your teeth every night. Crisps. Okay, number five is this one. If you like cooking, then you should have seen this word before. And most people say recipes or receipts, but it should be recipe. So it's very irregular, this word. Normally when an E is on the end, we don't pronounce it, but in this case, we do. Recipe, three syllables. Okay, number six, this one. Okay, so many people pronounce this incorrectly. They want to say every syllable, so they say comfortable. But really, it's comfortable. Comfortable. So it's not comfortable, it's just comfortable. Okay, so we actually lose a syllable there. The same goes for number seven, which is not vegetable, vegetable. Not vegetable, vegetable. Vegetable. Similarly, we have number eight. Okay, very important word. If you don't know this word, then you're crazy because it's a big part of my life. I hear many people saying chocolate or chocolate. Choco, choco. But we say chocolate, chocolate. So it's just two syllables and I understand it's quite hard for many people to pronounce, but if you want to speak English well, you've got to practice. So chocolate, chocolate. Okay, and my last two are days of the week. So number nine, this one, not, not one of my favorite days of the week, but it's very important to pronounce it correctly. I always hear Tuesday, Tuesday, when in reality it's Tuesday. Choose, like I want to choose what I'm having for breakfast this morning. Tuesday, not Tuesday, Tuesday. And then the last one, another day of the week, not Wednesday, Wednesday. Not Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday. So that's it for this pronunciation lesson. I really hope it helped you and hopefully you can now pronounce these words more confidently. You will need to repeat and practice again and again and again, but that's part of learning a language, so get started now. Make sure that you connect with me on all of my social media. It's all here. And I look forward to seeing you in class very, very soon. Mwah.